Hey guys, it is Christy K and I am here with a get ready with me chit chat video. Um, I used all drugstore makeup on this video. Everything in here is very affordable. If you guys like this look and you want to see how I got it, keep watching. And, and I'm just playing with some new things that have came out recently and some of just like some old classic that I absolutely love. If you haven't seen one of my recent videos, this Shea Moisture Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer. I really like it. I use it under my makeup, so this is gonna be my primer today. Sometimes I add another primer with it, but for today, because I got my favorite concoction back together, my favorite drug still, drugstore cocktail, this is gonna be it. It's all I need, because I don't really need much for what I'm gonna do, because it's like the dream team. And this one has, this is coconut milk, and I'm gonna butcher this. Asia Senegal in it. I don't know what that means, but it's in there. What I'm gonna start off with today is this, it's my Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetics. Love her, she's such a freaking cutie pie. It has highlighters and contour palette, so it's like pretty much everything I need. I'm not gonna need much of anything else besides this. These are the eyeshadows right here. And these are the contour shades and highlighters. There are three highlighters, Radiant, French Toast, and Moonlight, and three contours, um, Mocha, Chai, and Brown Bite. So it's supposed to range for everybody. Believe it or not, this really is a contour shade for somebody super fair. So I feel like Brown Bite is gonna be super deep, so I might like dab into that, but I'm not gonna go full on into that, and so, this palette has so many colors. I am going to attempt to get out of my comfort zone because I just stay so safe. All right, so I figured out my little cocktail for these eyes. I'm gonna start by going in with the shade Angel. I'm just blending that in the crease. Oh no, I'm sorry, it was the color Spice. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Sunset and put that on top. Just be as messy as you want with it, it don't matter. And I'm gonna take Fairy Tale. No, I'm gonna take Friday. Put that on top of a sunset. Y'all just don't look like the same eye though. Now I'm gonna go in with Control Freak and I'm gonna put that above that to kind of diffuse the creases. And I'm gonna take a little bit of nudist and I'm gonna put that at the brow bone. I'm gonna dip into Midnight, put this on the outer crease. Bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna take the color Passion and I'm gonna add that right there too. Bring it up. A little fluffy brush, blend everything together. All right, so maybe I was a little bit more light-handed on the other side, but it's all good because we're gonna fix it like in real life. This stuff is not perfect. I'm actually liking this eye more. It's more vibrant. It's speaking to me more, and it's more out of my comfort zone. Go in with my um, Ruby Kisses eye primer, and I'm just gonna kind of like cut it. Bro, these eyes are not going to the same party. I'm gonna be right back. All right, that's much better. So for these eyes to make them pop, so right now I'm gonna dip into the shade Allison. Put that like in the inner corners. And the tear ducts. And I'm gonna apply Fairy Tail right next to it. And then I'm gonna put Tiffany at the end. I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush, blend everything together, put some Connie on it, close that up, take some Midnight, put that at the end. This is very bright and bold and vibrant and out of my comfort zone. So let's get back to the rest of the face. Finally got the dynamic duo back together. This is Milani Conceal Perfect in 910. And this is L'Oreal True Max Lumi in W6 Warm. I take a pump of each one and I mix them together. And now I'm just gonna just dot it all over my face. 
Actually, I think I just take two. We're gonna start with one and see if that's enough. Beauty blender. Buff it out. So the reason I used two is because I couldn't find the Milani in my shade. And I tried this together one day and it was everything. And actually I had L'Oreal True Match Lumi and it was too light for me at the time. But now that I'm looking at this, I think I maybe should have put a little bit more of um, L'Oreal in it because this is pretty deep. I'm giving off both hand vibes, but it's okay. I will take it. Maybe it was one Milani, two L'Oreal's. I don't know. But I'm pretty freaking tan. To drag that down the neck a little bit, even over the ears. Cause this is what we got going now, so we about to make it work. For my concealer, I was gonna use my Makeup Revolution Highlight Concealer in shade seven, but I can't find it. I'm gonna see if there's anything left in this ColourPop cause I wanted to keep everything drugstore. So this is ColourPop Medium Tan. I'm gonna put that right here, underneath. Also, I'm gonna bring that down the nose. Put a little here. And there. That's for my base, but because I like it more highlighted, I'm gonna take the shade 30 and put it like right there where my highlighter is gonna be for the brightness. And just mix a little in between these here. Add a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eyes. I don't have one that's drugstore, so we just gonna do this little Laura real quick. Bring Angel down on top to the tear ducts. I'm gonna take Midnight. Bring that down. I'm gonna mix it with Connie. eyeliner and just smudge it out so it's just like boom I'm gonna add a coat of mascara which is this is the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal this is the makeup Shayla edition since this look is super dramatic I'm gonna go in with my Ardell lookbook and with eight pairs I think I'm down to six, but I want something kind of dramatic. So I think I'm gonna go with the 105s. So I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. I took this Maybelline Master Precise Ink and I kind of like cut it around the eye on both sides. Sorry. So there are three contour shades. So I'm gonna take Mocha and probably mix it with the Brown Bite for contour, but because they are so pigmented, first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with mocha. See if that makes a difference. I'm gonna face up mocha. Okay, I can see a little bit of bronzy. Brown bite is so dark, it kind of scares me. I'm just gonna layer it on top of mocha lightly. Time. For the nose contour, I'm gonna use mocha. Ooh, it's dark. I'm gonna have to blend baby girl out, like for real. I just need like a clean blending brush. I'm gonna take some of this chai and put it underneath my eyes brightness for my blush I'm using one of my favorites it's the city color B matte and blackberry let me tell you how much I love this blush it's so rand it's like I saved it because it broke and I can't let it go like I just can't so a little bit Add a little rosy to the cheeks. Bring it around the forehead. And for this uh, this contour, I wanna like cut it. I want it to be super sharp. 
go back into my translucent powder, spray my little Morphe sponge, get it wet. I don't like to let it sit for very long. I just want to create the definition. And then this highlighter, because I want my highlight to be uber popping. So first of all, BH Cosmetics highlighters are all dope. Like the highlighters in the Carly Five Bow palette are everything. So um, I'm gonna assume the same for these. So I'm gonna just drench my face this is elf illuminating mist set then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go into radiant <laughs> you know what that was not planned That highlight is there for real. I'm gonna go over it with Moonlight. Whatever is left, let's go run it underneath the brow bone. Right here in the center of the forehead. And then, ooh, cause I like to just press it into the skin. Go back in with the Beauty Blender. Go back in with my favorite Essence eyeliner. I use that to bring my mold back in. I'm gonna set it with the fish, with the Fix Plus because I want to um, want this to like melt into my skin. I know this is in drugstore, but I have yet to find a drugstore illuminating spray that does what this one can do. If you find one, let me know. Let that do its thing, let that highlight glow, glowing from within. And then for the lips, I'm gonna take one of like my favorites is NYX Hot Cocoa. Line my lips. Or in a nude, I like to like fully line the lips when I wear a nude because sometimes it's just like too much and it blends with my skin. So this is ColourPop in Ellery, and this is in the shade Netta, and I was excited for this color because she named it after her mom, Netta, and that's my mom's name, so it was super cute. I had to order Mom Dukes one of these too, so let's see. I actually like the way that combo looks together. It's speaking to me. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. This is all drugstore product. Um, I actually love the look. I feel like I am glowing. Um, I enjoyed myself. It's been a while since I've done a full face of drugstore. I actually got out of my comfort zone today. I did something a little bold. This is very loud for me. I'm definitely a neutral girl. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got to see some products that you've been wondering about trying and wondering if you should get. Um, with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. And on the way out, go ahead and check out some of my latest videos. They will be right this way. I love you guys. Mwah.